which means that at some point we should be live. I'm Welcome seeing in. live now. We're in. It's all good. Uh, am I seeing live? Okay, we're live. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, well, almost a radio announcer's voice. You should be saying, and we're live, and welcome to our world's channel. <laughs> I kind of have to turn that on, and I, 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 I actually don't normally think to do it when I'm, like, making a video. Normally, yeah. there's occasions when I do. Right. Right. Sometimes I do it on the phone at work. Oh, yeah. Why, yes, we can indeed fix your network router. Hold on just a moment. Please press one if you would like. Yes. Actually, occasionally people will uh, answer the phone because I'll, I'll call them and they'll think it's a recording. So that's always funny. That is always funny. I bet that's cool. So, all right. So we are going to roll uh, weather first, actually. Yeah. Uh, so let's roll that. We have a 45 for weather, which in February is going to be flight, which is good. Okay. Awesome. <clears throat> Uh, next, we roll off for initiative. <coughs> I have a big fat four. And you have boxcar, so it is your call, so whether you would like to go first or not. Oh, yeah. Okay. In this case, yes. You have no reinforcements for this turn, I can tell you that. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there are any reinforcements coming anytime soon. Uh, let me just get my little cheat sheet out here. That's why I know what I'm doing. Got my rules. All right, here. Find some glasses so I actually see the map. Well, there we go. Um, let's see. So, shipping, uh, uh, we're just going to ship SP in, right? That's what yes. We're you know, there's no rolling, but I do need to roll for replacements, I believe. So, yes. So, let's do that. I guess we find the charts first. Okay. I have it in front of me. Oh, cool. Okay, dude. Here we go. Uh, just roll it. I uh, roll eight. Which I guess is nothing. Uh, it is a factional re re um, replacement. So roll a 1d6. That is, you get to rebuild one Italian plane, one step of Italian planes. <laughs> Fantastico. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can. Find an Italian plane that needs rebuilding. Deadpool. Off the board boxes. Oh, look at that. You got an Italian plane you can rebuild. Yay. At least you can rebuild half of them anyway. Yeah. Let me. Uh, where we... All right. No. Got to better be careful there, man. He looks pretty scary. A terrifying Regia Aeronautica. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'm assuming they're going to come into Sicily, actually, right? Yeah, actually, I think they do. Yeah, so that would make sense. All right. Refits. So let's do that. All of these guys, except for. Interesting. Okay. Just making sure I don't have any uh, units that are that need refit. Here we go. There's one down here. This guy. Let's see. Where am I going to pull supply from? One. Up from there. Well, there you go. The Junkers can come up. I can spend the T for him. I'll drop that down by one. <clears throat> but I'm not going to be able to reach this airstrip. Uh, let's see. Truck movement points. It's hard. Nope. Nope. 
Ah, ha, there it is. I'll take the tea from here. <clears throat> on that truck or from, I think, it, I think it wasn't on the truck. It was uh, the one I captured on the ground there. So that'll, that'll pay for this dude. And we'll rotate it counterclockwise. And I think that's all my aircraft that I can see anyway. All right. Okay. Uh, no reinforcements. Movement. Well, first things first. I think last turn I didn't move or ship any supply in. So no. we're going to do that first. Okay. <laughs> Since I forgot to do it last time, <clears throat> which is probably a huge mistake. So let me find my shipping capability. Where's that chart? Okay. You have four shipping cap. Thank you, sir. Four cap. So let's see. Ship one to Brazil day. No. Let's move this out of the way so I can see. One to uh, Tunis. There's a miserable amount of supply. <clears throat> I got a lot of supply, just not where I need it to be at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, this is a little port. It can take one SP, but it's right near the Americans. That's a bad idea. This guy can take. Two. Look at that bad boy. What do you know? Of course, the, the thinking man would have driven his truck back to SFAX uh, last turn instead of sitting, leaving it sitting around aimlessly. And let's go one. You know what? We'll put one more here. Okay. And I have one T out here that I must have used. So let's kill that. All right. So that's supply. Uh, so I think I'm going to start up top just if you want to follow along and sure. all the fun stuff. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Something here. 
Yeah, no, I was just checking your patrol zone. Yep. Um, all right. Now, is that top unit in the stack in 40, 30, 40, 26? Is that a combat unit or is that not? It's not. It's an artillery. <clears throat> ah, okay. So you have That's a, the combat unit. Should have been on top. Oh, okay, cool. Hmm. And the artillery defend with one, correct? That's correct. And that's low hills, low hills. Yeah, there's only hills as far as I can Only go. hills, that's right, only hills. And that hills. is, I'm just looking for, see if there's any armor multipliers for me, but there's not. So let's put, hmm, I don't know if I'm going to have the supply to do this. Let's see if I can do it cheap, cheerful. So uh, I will, uh, <clears throat> well, we do that later, but I'm going to take this reserve marker off here, off this particular guy, and <coughs> like that. <clears throat> easy, easy there, big guy. Don't oh, die. Yeah. Don't oh, we're, gonna, we're all getting sick up here. Oh, jeez. I went to Costco over the weekend. It was a shit show. It was really? Oh, yeah. Like as in mayhem, as in there were only letting twenty five people in the store at a time. No oh, shoot. So they had everybody else stacked up like cordwood out in the lobby. Made no sense at all. It's supposed to spread you out outside. That's what they're supposed to do. Make a line. Uh, that's groovy. You have so many freaking units. There's no way I'm going to stop all this crap. This is not good. Um, what is the anti-aircraft symbol again? Is it? It's not the triangle, is it? Um, there's. Uh, hold on. You know the. It's the one. One. One goes one way and one goes the other. It's up. The, it's the up point. The apex of the triangle is to the top. Yeah. No. Uh. Yes. Yes. No, that's anti tank, I think. Okay. Hold on. I always get those mixed up too, actually. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I don't have the, I, you know what? I got the rules. Let me just, I'm playing DAC on Friday. So I got nope, the, you're right. The, the point of the triangle is, is on top. Okay. All right. So we're going to move this guy. And there's no anti-aircraft, real anti-aircraft units in 
OCS as such. But don't you get a plus? Don't you get a plus one if you try to bomb with if you've got an AA unit in the hatch, or is that an HQ? That actually might be right. Uh, you do get a plus one for an HQ. Um, you actually might, but that comes up so seldom. <laughs> that, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Cool. All right. Just check. Then again, you know, mostly we're East Front, just because that's most of the games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That never comes up on the East Front. Right. So that's one, two, three. Yeah. Oh, dear me. I might as well push this knucklehead down one. Oh, actually, one, two, three to here. And no, three to there. Good though, dumbass. All right, sorry. <clears throat> All right. Now what to do with this mess? What have you done to me down here? Reserve micro here. I'm gonna fuel this dude for one T. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five to there. Hmm. <laughs> uh, let's see. I can't John, I've been looking uh, at people's uh, pictures of that uh, Second World War Barbarossa thing from Diffraction Entertainment. It's big. And actually, I think the maps are pretty nice, too. I know some people whine about them, but I actually like the maps. Yeah, I like the maps. I, I own the Bulk and Fury one. Have you tried to play it? Yep. The oh, the uh, setup instructions. Mm -hmm. Each each nation has its own setup instructions. Mm -hmm. so, so you've got to look through all the Germans, all the Greeks, all the Yugoslavs, all the British, and then and then set go you know go through and set them up. But some of them are uh, combined for multiple scenarios. Mm. So it's easy to get lost. And I, I found it almost opaque. And the counters are. So, and I have a, my copy's only a few years old. Super thin counters. I heard that. 
and uh, I just underwhelmed by the quality of the counters. The um, my version of the rule book, rule book, it was a Ziploc copy. It, it, mm -hmm. it came with the big pieces of paper, cook stapled together. Mm -hmm. thanks, for thanks for playing, and that was it. So uh, I was underwhelmed. I saw that the big box version has a, a bound, a hard bound copy, but it's that mm -hmm. glued, it's that glued spine, yeah. so yeah. it doesn't sit open. So I, I I don't know what that guy's doing. It, it, and it's ridiculously expensive. Even I was going to say they are even, very expensive games. Yeah, even for a small run, I just uh, it just doesn't make sense to me to economically to justify buying something that's so massive that you can't reach in the middle of the table type of thing. I don't know. Like I don't mind the Europa. It's basically Europa, but it, that's what I hear. It's got it's got nuances and it's more detailed and all that sort of stuff, but it's almost trying to be grand tactical and operational, mm. and it's kind of messy. I think it sounds very mm. much like Europa, actually. Yeah, given given you know you four fifths of that and two fifths of that, add this and then a huge air war and you're doing stuff and uh, individual ships and uh, please. Um, in the meantime. This 91st Regiment, Brave Italians, really wants to do something spectacular, but they don't know how to. So let's see if we can work this out. I'm going to go out in a blaze of glory here. Five, uh, one, two, three there. There is no way for me to throw. Let me see. Oh, hang on. That's a truck. It can go one. Oh, one, two, three, four and a half, five. Boom. So I can't get to that guy. Can I? One, two, three. Why are there no trucks? I got plenty of trucks. And you're a funny guy. Just uh, saying they're fine American Studebakers. Now this um there's a special rule for this coal fired junk heap. This thing is is that that can only service certain units, right? And I probably should have... let me check that. That does have a special rule for it. Yeah, if you could just check that, because that that might be my saving grace. Uh, but I think I'm going to end up abandoning it in the middle of nowhere, which is not a good idea. Uh, but that's that. So I'll keep you do that. And I'll keep looking to uh, move bits. Uh, no, they uh, they're just it's just a truck. It's just a truck. It's just a truck. We love just trucks. All right. Except it's got a different movement allowance than every other truck. Yeah. One. Oh, here I go. I go this way. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. One, two, three. <laughs> three. Okay, so uh, reaching back, this this guy here, uh, the hundred and first, a G something something super guy, he go he can go he can get fuel I believe by going one, two, three, four, and then that's near enough to there. Yep. Yep. If there's fuel there. Yeah. This 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 dude. Off the, oh, okay. All right. Just empty the truck down or lower him anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Let me grab a little doohickey and we'll, uh, do that. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Well, that's good. Actually, uh, did he? I'm not sure he can. Um, What's that? One, two, three, four, five. Puts him at fifty one fifteen or fifty fifteen. No, it's one, two. Ah, three, okay, gotcha. Four, and then then that's that's then, totally kosher. 
Yeah, and depending on how you count that next hex, it's it's all the way or or adjacent. Yeah, so it's all part of the puzzle. Yeah, so because I was trying to count, I was trying to throw to it, and uh, the, the trucks don't throw to you. Reach back, so right doesn't work going. You could way. drive it up a couple hexes if you had to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to find my fuel. All right. Now. And unlike the other guy, a couple hexes to the south, he's not hemmed in by Zox. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. All right, now let's see this mess that I created for myself down here. Uh, uh, kind of glad I got the initiative, actually. Oh, you're talking down with Santa Panzer? Yeah, down with, yeah, yeah. I need to take that fuel off. things first. Um, 23, 22 here, right? Dump that 22, we'll make it, uh, 27 to there, eight. To fuel, and just, I'm sorry, because I've got a couple of games going in my head, but for the, for the Tunisia 2, if I fuel a formation, is it one, uh, a, like 21st Panzer? Is that 1 SP or is yeah. it? Uh, it's, it's 1 SP. 1 SP, okay. For so the entire one. formation. And it stays till the cleanup phase if you fuel it now. Roger that. It stays till your next cleanup phase, regardless, actually, which is why it hangs around for a whole turn if you fuel it in uh, your reaction phase in my turn. Got it. Okay. So 21st Panzer will pull the one T off the one SP off the truck. Dak will throw that to 21st Panzer Duhiggy. Yeah. To these guys. <coughs> the question is, do I want that in this mode or?
Mike, how's it going? Thanks for joining us. So bored, I reduced to weird oatmeal experiments. Weird oatmeal experiments? Yeah, I made savory oatmeal with garlic and olive oil today. And Parmesan cheese. Um, we need to have a chat after this. <laughs> that sounds just a little too weird. You know, it wasn't that bad. I was thinking I, I really had a taste for polenta, except I don't have any polenta, but I had oatmeal. Well, okay. Well, whatever floating your boat, bro. That's all good for you. Um, that is very cute. Uh, one, two, three, six. Mm. Our points of interest don't have any uh, combat effect, do they? The I'll double yellow. check that, but I'm pretty sure they do not. Little yellow dots. I think they don't. Uh, they do absolutely nothing. Perfect. I still got this freaking DG unit here. I can get rid of that too. Come on, we want to cross that. All right. Um, hmm. Okay. I fuel the 21st. I'm not going to do anything with it for the moment. I'm going to, I'm going to come back to it. Uh, okay. I just realized I need to clean, clean up our act here a little bit. Uh, so we are going to run with seven. Where are we at? Uh, let me do some math first, and then I'll tell you. <laughs> this DG guy that, that you've got. Oh, ah, okay. I think there's just one unit there. Right? There is. So he's three. So I can use 12. So we'll do that. So we'll we'll fuel all of uh, 10th Panzer. And I will pull that from, I guess, that dump. So that sucks. Delete. And I will spend... Okay, so I'm going to uh, conduct an overrun with this guy, this guy, and this guy. Okay. Don't forget you got to spend the supply yep. to make the attack as well. So that would yep. be 3T. Yep. Yep. All right. <clears throat> so did you say 12? 12. All right. So it's looking like you're going to be 4 to 1 up 3. Trying to think if there's something else that would be going on there. Uh, you are not doubled in that terrain. No. All right, roll it up. Roll That's the surprise. Surprise. Ten, two, two up. Okay, so, so four to one. That's let me check that terrain. I bet it's close. Yeah. It's close. So four to one. You're at eight. You're now at eight to one. So go ahead and rake the combat roll. Seven. But you're yeah. But you're up three. So yeah. A O one. DL 101. Yeah. Okay. So that gets rid of him. I'm yep. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna retreat. And bounce out. Okay. And now this unit will move to here. And this unit will move to you. And this guy is already here. And my 3T will come off of uh, this dude here. Need a 3T. Or 1T, I should say. Is a supply line for the moment. Now, one, two, 
two, three. Uh, I don't know what you got in that hex, but I'm going to overrun that hex. Let's have a look at it. Eight. Eight. I have ten. And I'm going to get some modifier for terrain, but I don't know what, what's your other guy in there. Uh, so it's a red symbol, so it's a it's um, an anti-tank. So um, <clears throat> you'll, you're going to be time and a half. Time and a half, so that's, uh, so that's eight. And the red guy, my red guys don't get anything though. That's just going to be a straight five, right? This guy, one hundred and fourth. Um, they don't get modified. I don't think it's only the armor. It's only the yellow. <coughs> so I have, um, I have ten. I have thirteen going against. What do you say? Eight. The armor and mechas, uh, mechas. It's it's open and it is. Then oh. mechas, uh, time and a half as well. Okay, perfect. I have sixteen then. To eight, two to one. Overrun, surprise, five plus three. Plus three. Five plus three is an eight, which is not an overrun. Okay, which is not a uh, no surprise. That's you're 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 right. It's not a surprise. It is in fact still an overrun. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we're we're going skinny at two to one plus three. Yep. Yes. Seven. Seven, which is in uh, ten. We'll go to A O one D L one O one, and we'll. Uh, we'll retreat. So you need to make the call first yeah, as to I'll whether you're going to retreat or. Okay, let me see here. You had. I'm sorry, I was at two to one. It's A O one D L one. It's A O one D L one O one. Yeah, I'll just take. Uh, I will uh, retreat back okay. to the hex I'm in and let you take a loss. Spend one T from here. That's my truck. Yeah. Now, now you spent. You've got to spend supply, uh, or you you, you just. Uh, went I do off. have to spend supply. Yeah. yeah. Actually, this guy is going to go one, two. John, I don't know that I really ever learned Vassal, to be honest, other than just monkeying with it. But I did do some solo stuff with it before I even tried to do it with an, uh, another human. Now, FYI, that 458, that 605th in a tank uh, battalion, mm -hmm. that had to be fueled independently of 21st Panzer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good catch. Uh, I believe he was in the hex with the truck. Okay. Good catch. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. 
thick and mighty thin. Um, I am going to now. So, where do I want to put this? So I just I may want to just recant on this moving the 69th Panzer guy, uh, the regiment. This guy. Um, really, what I should do is put it here to make a line. Um, Okay. Now I'm going to fly three T once I check your and pull pull supply. I'm gonna just I wanna check your uh, patrol zones before I dump this stuff. So let me just get this down near here and put up patrol zones. I'm seeing it. Uh, <laughs> that's cute. Uh, so I can't see it. What hex are you trying to fly into? Uh, I'm trying to fly into my airstrip here that I took. This guy. Oh, okay. Well, that's just flying it in. You don't even have to uh, roll for that. You don't get, uh, but you you don't get to try and intercept. Not if I'm not in a patrol zone. Okay, but you so you're not. Uh, there is no allied patrol zone over that airstrip. Right okay, now. cool. Yeah, I just uh, for some reason I couldn't see it, so I don't know why. Uh, maybe uh, all right. So I'm top flying three uh, T into there, and actually I can do more than that, right? Because uh, you can. So you got three planes three, that each fly one T. Yep. So and see. they're flying from Sicily. Yeah. So, what's the distance from Sicily to say South is forty-four, and you got roughly twenty hexes. So you're looking at about sixty hexes. Yeah. They're at one sixty-two. You could fly the that three T in directly from Sicily. Okay, and I, and I could probably do it twice, right? Yes, all, twice. Like, Correct. So I, could, I could so I could put six T on that hex. Okay. So let's, and do they have to then stay there or they'll have enough to get back? No, right? they can get back. Okay, so let's do that. That's with the three Germans. So that's, that now makes them, I guess all these guys are actually supposed to be refit, right? Technically, right? And now these are used. <coughs> yeah, there's no, uh, other than the limit that's in the off map box, there's no, that's, that's your limit to refit in those areas, unless it's mud, in which case it goes down by quite a bit. Yeah, so let me just increase this, just clone this guy here real quick. Just clone him. Oh, I've lost the markers. Where'd the markers go? I'm trying to go fast as I can, man. It's uh, all good. Now I will <laughs> spend a T <laughs> and uh, move this dude one hex to here. <clears throat> yeah, you don't want to leave that alone <laughs> in the hex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, especially, yeah. That's bad mojo right there. Yeah. Not with the first armored division within relatively easy striking distance. Now, last uh, last little section down here, I think, down near Gafsa, whatever it's called. Gafsa. 
Yeah. I guess. Yeah, let's see if I can do some funky here. Uh, so one to there. The wadi is FYI. I mean, it's still a legal move, but uh, the wadi is plus two movement to cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why he's not going any further. He's quite happy there. Uh, and mm. I'm going to take this reserves. So much artillery, so few units. So let's pull this dude. Uh, a mountain, that's gonna be a bunch. That's all movement points, nice. I'm gonna push this guy to here though. And I'm gonna for you all, I'm gonna pull this reserve marker off and that reserve marker off. I'm gonna fuel 15th Panzer. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. So uh I, this is pointless. Why don't we mm, I found a truck. Yay! I have a trucks. I love this game. Um, we are going to drive. Let's split this. Okay, I'm looking at that. There's a dump over on the right hand side. I'm assuming you can see it. Uh, In Mizuna? Yeah. Yeah. Let me just decrease that to two. One. Bring this down to two. Well, we should have started with one of those loaded, but never mind. One, that's six, seven, eight, nine, 16 to there, 21 to there. Close enough for government work. Now, uh, we will use the, how do I get that fuel? Wrong side. Can I cheat and go back? Uh, yeah, you can You can take that, those okay. moves back. That's fine. You probably don't want to put them on the airstrip. Yeah, well, I, I'm actually going to leave one there just because I think, let me let me see. So I've got one. Unless you want to move in a plane there. Yeah. Well, actually, that's actually, that's actually, um, I see. Hmm. Kimosabi. Um, bugger me. Uh, five. So let's, sorry. Right. So nope, it's all good. truck is there. Mm -hmm. Five to pick it up. Six, seven, eight. Nine, 15. It's four and a half, but that technically works out to be the same thing unless you, go all the way south to hit that secondary road. What's four and a half? It's four and a half to load or unload. It's 10% of the unit's movement allowance. You round. It's five, man. It's five. You round up. You, uh, all well, yeah, you round, but you don't lose it, right? Yeah, <clears> so, yeah, I mean, yeah, if... Yeah. If you don't have anything to spend the half point on, then you end up losing it. But if you're on a secondary road, you could spend a half point. Really? Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't think that's how that worked. Now, certainly the math is simpler if you uh, just say it's five. I've always just thought you had to round it off, and therefore it was it is what it was. Um, but 
I will uh, dig into that later because right now I'm going to count this guy. So it's four and a half. So let's call it five. Six. I need to be, these guys are one, two, three, four, five. So I can, no, I can't drop there. But I'm going to drop here. Though. Okay. That's 12. Thirty-five to get back. Forty to let's call it forty to load, and then one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, genius, I'll uh, fuel <laughs> these guys. That was painful. And here we go. Let's see if we can get out of here. You really got me bulbed up here, don't you? So. Why does this have to attack you? So this is where I will prevail upon some air. And once again, I'll check to see. Okay, so no patrol zone. Yeah, so I'm pretty I'm gonna, sure no. Yeah, I'm going to bring in the junk, the, 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 the stooks on this dude. Okay. Uh, so if you want to roll for flak, I'm going to pour myself a drink. So that is a straight up rush. Yep. Is that 17? Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, 17. So I'm, I'm looking for your, you, you got flak, right? Uh, yes, I do have flak. Hold on, let's do that. 10. Uh, 10, that's not enough. There's no pluses. Yep, nothing there. I'm going to spot my glasses. All right, so I'm going to do uh, 2d6, 1d6. Hey, I think that might be good enough. That's a DGM. Eight oh. is a DGM. Thank you playing, guys. Sorry, sound That's effect. okay. Sound effects. There's one guy that we play with a lot that does sound effects and he's famous for his tank noises. It's friggin' hilarious. It's great. And and when not when he's not Panzer shushing, sh 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 <laughs> then everybody's sad because it's just uh, it's just good times. All right, this guy's got to go back to there. He goes underneath the base. And you're DG now. Now I'm going to try and oh, run. What's that? No, I, I get to see what's in there now, right? No. no? You can look at the top combat unit, <sighs> which is uh, two, three, eight French mixed unit. Fine. Whatever, dude. Okay. Three, six. What am I? What, so I'm doubled. Am I doubled? Yeah, you, are du uh, you are time and a half. There's armor in there. Poop. Uh, so that's 5, 10, 12, 13. I'm bringing 13 to the party. What you got? Three and a half. That's four to one. Four to in the one. open. I'm going to, I'm going to just hang on. Let me get my. And you are up. I assume you got a five. Is that correct? Oh, I'm AR sorry. Yes, I should put that on top. Hang on one sec. I want to. Uh, I have these been. guys are probably all fives. Fifteenth Panzers probably all fives. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, so, what do we say? Four to one in the open. Yeah. So let's roll for surprise. Seven. Seven plus three is oh, a ten, right. which is surprise. Three columns up. In the so open. Do it the, on the nine to one column. Come on, baby. Come on, bring big, big numbers. 
Big numbers. Oh, living thanks for playing. Eleven plus three is an AE two, so you're going to get exploit. And uh, these yeah. guys are t uh, actually no. Hold on. It's, it's no. You rolled a. You rolled an eleven that goes up to fourteen. AE two DL two O three DG. Yeah. Um. You had three and a half in there, is that right? I had uh, two REs, but uh, it's three units. I'm afraid they're going to lose anyway. They're dead. They're dead. Because yeah. they are DG'd already, and they can't retreat on a path that doesn't take them through a Zoc. Right, they'll lose an extra step. That's right. Now I've got to pay for that. So that was three. So yeah, that's three tokens. I need a, I need a token. token. Oh, one T is that? That's just one. So I'll stick that on top of that. Um, so that was uh, three to there. Three to there. It's going to lag. And boys, my damn three. Oh, we got some people on. I, I've been so focused on the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, that's yeah, there's six people watching, which two yeah, of which are probably us, but there's a few people. John's in, Mike's in. Nobody else has said anything, I don't think. Well, that's not very nice. I should have just say hi. All right. Uh, three, 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 four, three and a half, Was it? Um, it's just not worth doing that, dude. What I wanted to do was drive up the highway and overrun that 755th battalion, but it's a really stupid thing to do. Uh, it just blows too much supply. So instead, instead, let's give you a little love over here. We're just going to go around you now and move to here. And I'm gonna put one guy. Am I gonna put one guy there? I think I am. Now, the Italians will spend two T. And they're gonna move into the breach there. I don't know why I'm, I don't know why I already moved that, but I guess it is what it is. That was stupid. All right. Uh, <clears throat> that goes away. And then just real, I'm just going to do a real quick skim, skim down here and see if I need to. Uh, I kind of like to reshuffle some of these guys, but. Truck is going to grab one SP from here. I'm going to boogie up the road. So you're telling me I get the uh, I get the half. Okay, so yeah, I mean sometimes you can use it, sometimes you can't. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's five to there. That's actually near enough. Five to there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13 and a half. And drop that guy there. 13 and a half. Oh, sorry, 18, half 19. Six, seven to there. Now, 
my truck has one T left in it. Two T left in it. Oh, I'm supposed to have one T left in it. I'm going to pick up two T and make this guy full. So I'll take that off the board. No. Oops. He is now full. And I'm going to reduce that by two. All right. Okay, dude. Um, move these reserve markers out of the way. I think I think I'm good. That's uh, so. Let me go back up here because at the top we've got that's so all my that's all my movement. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> In that case, supply is next. Yep. Uh, I, I see one unit. That's the guy in 4608 that has to probably roll for attrition. Yeah, I think so. Let's pop two dice for that guy. Uh, maybe he'll solve everyone's problems. Nine, he does. That's going to be dead. Yeah, he loses two steps on that. So send to... Send to... My DAC guys are all, are all within throw of the DAC HQ. And these other chappies here, one, two. Does the Wadi block uh, block the road? Uh, blo does the Wadi uh, block as Azog? No. So I think if, I think what I would have to do is probably move this unit here, one head. Where are you talking about? I'm sorry, down here in Gafsa. Okay. See uh, 15th Panzer. In order for him to get to that road to, to, keep, to reach back, I would need to move this guy one hex to here. Like so. Okay. I don't know where your HQ is, and you shouldn't tell me. So. Okay. Um, but if you have an HQ under that 15th Panzer um, uh, unit marker, then with this configuration, everybody's totally fine. Um, so it's an Italian HQ. I uh, believe that's not a problem. Yeah, that's okay. not a problem. We looked that and, up. And, and, and anyway, I, I need to get back to a supply source. And I, can, I can, as long as I get back to a main road and then to a port, I'm good to go. Uh, well, as long as you have get can get to a detrainable hex that is uh, connected to a supply source, you are fine. Yeah. Um, so if you have one, two, three, four. So I guess the question is, is that it's, if that Italian HQ is in 3324, and I'm not yeah. saying that it is, yeah. then he's got to reach back five hexes, six really, um, to a detrainable hex. He's in a detrainable hex. Uh, points of interest are detrainable in this. Yeah, but there's no train, there's no railroad there. Uh, sorry, it's a... Um... But you, you can use roads in this mm -hmm. game. No. Uh, is there something special for Tunisia for that? Hold on. Oh, uh, I think there is. It's, like, it's just like... Um, uh, quick, quick, where's, my, where's my rules? Because <laughs> uh, that's a huge difference, actually. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, though. Let's see. Supply. Reinforcements, no stupid entry tricks. Entry. We're not doing that. Uh, well, I'll yell at you if there are stupid entry tricks. It's in somewhere. Let me see. Supply and reinforcements. And the ports do not provide trace supply. And that scenario special rules might give additional supply sources per the arrival schedule. Well, that's just freaking dandy. Um, However, you started there. So where were they tracing from at the beginning of the game? Well, Unless there was a HQ somewhere on that road. There's, there's not. Uh, there's only the Italian HQ. Um, let me just look here. Oh, come on. Map notes. 
I'm thinking maybe I'm thinking of Dak because I know Dak you can trace on the road. That might be, but I haven't lo- really even looked at Dak to be. Other- I mean, I physically. Yeah, looked at- no, no, I'm not, and I'm. I'm- <laughs> All I'm doing is making excuses for myself. Uh, so that should be, if that, if there's a rule for that, then it should be in section one somewhere. And I'm not, see, uh, I'm not seeing that. That roads trace. You could, yeah, you could yeah, trace. Yeah. I mean, you could trace supply on roads, right? But, but you still have to trace to somewhere where supply can get to, which means a rail line with a detrainable hex or an actual supply source. Okay. So the, the 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 detrainable hex, and you can trace from here, and I actually think you're probably fine. Um, is the hex with that airstrip in it down at thirty three twenty six? Because the tracing is good enough. Yeah, uh, yeah. Even if it's not good enough, actually, if that HQ is anywhere in there, you can trace through Zox as long as they're occupied by friendly units. So you should be pretty much be fine, regardless of where the. I don't. I'm trying not to look at your stacks. Um, no, that's cool. Yeah, where I'm, that I'm, should I'm, be fine. I'm, but that's a problem because if I zoom down there with somebody, then yeah, you could be in a fairly serious pickle with a very powerful formation. Yes. Yes. Well, I've kind. You know, I've kind of moved everybody. I, I mean, the only thing to do is to undo undo the fifteenth Panzer encirclement and yeah. pull them back. But uh, I guess I could do that. All right. So you got two units in twenty. What is it? Twenty nine, twenty four. Yeah. You could put one of those guys in on top of that airstrip instead. <clears throat> but then, if you cut the rail line leading to the airstrip, then it's a problem. So. I don't have to occupy the airstrip after yeah, all. Yeah, sure, sure, I know. Well, uh, I guess I'll let you. And it's that. worth me throwing away the 755th yeah. uh, tank battalion <laughs> to yeah. block that that supply line, or even just to. So I guess what I do is I, I put this guy. Uh, well, you're not going to get through there. That would stop you, right? Uh, it depends. Wadi uh, is Wadi plus, plus three. three. Mm. Plus three for track. Yeah. All right. It is plus three for track. So probably. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. I mean, you still got that, those guys in Goffs and Zocked in. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, yes. Yes, I do. I just. I just hate undoing stuff to, to fit the supply. I should have. I don't know. I'm sorry about making that mistake. So. Uh, but. Cost us some time there, but let's. Uh... Well, it's all good as far as time is concerned. But uh, one one thing um, that I'll mention for the benefit of the audience is that um, because there's so much, hit, there's actually quite a bit of hidden information in OCS, right? Your yeah. supply should be hidden, your HQs should be hidden, your supply traces should be hidden. So, you know, there's a certain amount of trust that has to come with that. Yes. You don't don't play you don't play OCS with guys you don't trust. So. Yeah, and that's and so that's an interesting, you know, and every game does have its nuances on trace supply. So, mm-hmm. you know, when we say detrainable hex sites, they, uh, in some games, points of interest can be detrainable hex sites, and then you can tra- you can trace on primary roads, which make points of interest on a primary road. In parentheses, a train yes. side, <laughs> and you're like, "Whoa, wait, okay, I can do what?" And that's where that's why I was doing what I was doing because I was thinking, "Oh, all I've got to do is get back to this this hex here, yeah, and I'm good because it goes back to a port." But the only ports I can trace to are Bazerte and Tunis. So, which is going to actually change. My strategy, as of this time, actually, <laughs> actually, yeah, that's a huge issue. Actually, if you think about that, because I'm about to be out of supply entirely when you move to here, Muxen. You can see this. Uh, I don't know if they can see it because you. Uh, yeah, that'll pretty. If I put a unit with zones of control in it, and that hex, you are officially hosed. Yeah, yeah. There's a. Uh, so that's a, now, that's not to say there's nothing you can do, but 
Right, right, right. That means you're shipping in supply and a lot of to, down there to feed yeah. feed the units off the map. Yeah, I'm gonna reread. I'm gonna reread these rules. But anyway, so uh, that's uh, is that the, Oh, I'm one more place. Suse, where is that? That's down south, I think. So that that helps. Where's Suse? Uh, that's on the coast. Suse, Suse, Suse. I don't know. Um, I'll find that's it. over on the coast. That's in fifty four eleven. Fifty four. Fifty four eleven. Oh, it's up top too. Okay. It's uh, it's on the northern map. Yeah. Oops. Okay. <clears throat> so, interesting. Well, see, that's where the, you know, the, the A historical let the, let the allies go first so the Germans don't get their big push thing mm -hmm. kind of, kind of food bars the Germans from the, almost from the get go. If, if, uh, you know, if we, well, we'll see what happens this turn, but, uh, yeah. I did not have a strong first turn, so there's yeah. not. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so if you're cool, I'm cool with supply. Uh, yep. for the Rest of my guys, I think. Uh, <clears throat> I do have. So it's combat phase, and I do have one combat. Well, it's reaction first. Well, um, so you, let me just check a couple of things here. Um, Because I foolishly did not use any of my reserve stuff, the only thing I have um, to react with is air. Uh, we're going to throw a barrage. Um, Americans and French, as far as I can tell, <coughs> can cooperate on this. So we're dropping this on... This hex right here. This is right north of the Cath uh, right north of Casserine. Right north of Casserine. Hang on one second. Uh, north of Casserine. Ah, okay. Yeah, now, so give me a flak roll. Big dice. Come on. Oh, that ain't, that's not. <laughs> All right. So barrage. Let's roll our barrage. We have 13 points. Uh, you have an RE there. Assuming there's only one unit. Yep. And it's in the open. It's in the open, right? Yep. It's in the open. So it's a straight up roll. We have an eight. That should DG him. It does DG him. Okay. Oh, uh, let me just check one thing real quick. Oh, just missed you. <laughs> no, so good. that's, yeah. So, yeah, yeah you're going to, we, well, I should have been flying fighter sweeps anyway, but at the moment. Um, I don't think we're crossing paths at the moment, really. Not really, no, but that's okay. Yeah. All right. That's my reaction. All right. So now a combat. Oh, now combat. Okay, cool, cool. So let's try and attack this. Uh, I suppose I should have done the barrage first, eh? Well, uh, where do I do this attack then? Yeah, no, look, I'm good. I, I, uh, I'll pass. I, uh, I forgot to do the barrage up there, so we'll just, uh, we'll just. Wait till next turn and see what happens. Okay. So that is then uh, exploit, of which there's none. We're talking barrage, barrage, or air barrage. Uh, I was just going to do a regular barrage against that. Uh... Oh, that comes in the combat. Right, now, yeah. Ready. Now is the time to. If it's an artillery barrage, now is the time to do that. Now is the time. Now is the time. All right. So let's spend. There's an air barrage. It's too late. Yeah. Let's spend uh, 3T on that, uh, using this guy here. Okay. So we'll uh, take that from here and delete it. 
and roll six for 16. And we roll a four. That's, that's that's a four. four. That is a big no. Not in, that's close to. Um, is that, guys, at the bottom of the stack? What? Sorry? Is that guy you barraged with at the bottom of the stack? This Make guy. sure he's not under the reserve marker. Yeah, he should be on top. There we go. Yeah, there you go. You're good. You're all good. Okay. And, uh, hmm. Well, you could have a lot in there. How much, how many tea can I throw at this? Do I have an SP to blow? I think I do. Let's do this. So I'm uh, attacking with uh, basically all the units around it, except for the 343. Three. We're talking 4226? This guy here, that, that stack there. Yeah. This, this stack. Okay. I have a total of six. <laughs> okay. All right. Six, 12, 18, and I'm one short. 18, 23 to six. My AR is three. Your AR is three, huh? You're in close terrain there, right? That is in close. So four to one. Four. You coming in with a five or a four? I'm coming in. I'm going to come in with the five. This guy here okay. is going to be my lead. Okay. So it's up two. Up, up two. So yep. four, uh, four to one in close, up two. Yep. I rolled seven. That's going to be not enough. That's because that's a nine. That's a nine, and it's not an overrun. So that is no surprise. So you're yeah. sti sticking with the four to one. Four to one uh, in close. Plus two. Up, plus two. Yep. That's so, a five, six, seven. Five, sorry, seven, yep. A O one, D O one. D O one. D O one. D option one. It's A O one, D O one. Yeah, A O one, D O one. Correct. D it's a defender option, not a loss. Uh, Roger that. I am not sure. At, I'm not sure if I'm hearing the letter. The letter. No, 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 no. You're good. No, you're good. I'm looking at four to one in the open. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, that does make a difference. I'm right here. Here we go. Okay. So uh, Dad's going to retreat. Yeah. So if uh, every oh. unit that Ooh. attacked needs to retreat. Yes. 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 Am I good? Be not good. Let's see. Okay. All right. Fine, British lads. Yes. Staunch. There's my SP for that attack. Deleted. Could have sworn there were some Jerry's over here. <laughs> and you'll need to spend your money as well. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, let's see where I'm doing that. Uh, it's going to have to be from here. Hmm. It's interesting. As a guest, I can't uh, comment on the, uh, on the chat. Oh. In StreamYard? Yeah. Oh, you know what? I bet I can do it on uh, YouTube, though. Oh, uh, you can definitely do it on YouTube. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah it's okay. I can do it. I, can, right. I have limited options. I can kick you from the studio, or I can ban you from the studio. Uh, ban that guy. He's a jerk. That son of a bitch. All right. I think that's my uh, no exploit. Clean up. Let's do that. Remove your... Uh, DGs, if there are any, and there there is one. Ooh, yes, this guy. So 
So what was the intention with you? D, uh, are you trying to get a step loss on me or something? I'm trying to prevent you from mounting an attack there. Uh, I had no intention I, of attacking you. I'd just rather isolate you there. That's the smart move, but that guy's not isolated. Um, well, he, or maybe he is. I'd have to actually count it because I don't have to count it yet. Um, yep. I never barrage with the uh, assumption I'm going to get a step loss. Right. Ever. Yeah, sure, sure. I mean, unless I have uh, some of those games that have those artillery points that you get for free where you can basically uh, spend one T or three T or whatever it is and barrage with as many points as you want, then, then that's a little different because you're getting a bunch for free. But right. other than that, um, yeah, I'm just looking for DGs. Roger that. All right. So that sounds like it is the allied turn. So let's roll. You agree? Yeah. Yeah, you can roll for re replacements. Where's the Tunisia charts? Allied replacements with a 10 is a PAX, an air, an equipment, and a special. That is great because I have a lot of, a lot of dead guys. Um, All right, so I don't think I have any dead air. I take that back. I have a reduced air somewhere. Yeah, you took a step loss, remember? Yeah, it's guys down here, I believe, in uh, Tripoli. How the hell do I uh, give him a step back? Right click. Yeah, right. I'm looking. There's a step loss. Yeah, maybe that's not the guy. That's the guy. Hurricanes. Okay. All right. So refit first. And what I've been doing is rotating um, my reduced air 90 degrees so that I will see them where they're at so I don't oh, miss them. That's a good idea. All right, so that's the air. The packs, uh, what do we got? Let's bring back this guy. Well, hold on. Let's figure out where he's going to go here. He goes there. That's the packs, the equipment. Uh, bring this back. The special. What is a what, what is a special? Oh, it's you, babe. You're special. Brief bit three surge planes. Ooh, okay. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that's cool. One, two, three. There we go. That's huge, actually. And I can place an airstrip, which is nice. Um, Okay, an airstrip. Uh, that means we're going to. Well, hold on. Let me let me wait till I'm actually in that 
phase to do that. Make sure I got all my air. This guy, he fits here. That might be all the air refit. It is. Okay. That's interesting. So, hey, um, so just as a FYI for mm -hmm. future, future play for you on the East front, mm -hmm. you look at the the rules for um, loading and unloading. It, it does round up to five, and you don't you don't get the half point. Okay. Yeah, it's on uh, page twenty eight. It's thirteen uh, thirteen two F. Well, that certainly makes the math easier. Yeah, yeah. I'm a fan of. Yeah, you don't have to keep track of that extra half point and all that sort of stuff. All right, I'm sorry. So where uh, you were doing what now? Uh, I'm about to go to movement. Cool. Uh, reinforcements, which are, they're already on the map. Great. Pull those. TX markers off. Is there live now? One of the major pains in the ass in um, Sicily, I don't know, we'll blow movement out too. Um, in not Sicily, but uh, beyond the Rhine is that you get all this stuff coming in on the map edge and none of it's fueled. Um, one of the fixes for that is that uh, stuff that comes in, I think at least on map A, which is what I was concerned about as somebody that was playing the Commonwealth, um, comes in fueled. Um, so you don't have to do that. But that's not the case here. None of these guys are fueled. So some. Huh. So there's a truck that comes in with some supply that he's going to have to basically drop that somewhere that they can reach. Um, so we're in movement phase now. So let's actually do that. Come on. There we go. One, two, three, eight. Oh, boy. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen and a half, sixteen and a third, which will just go away. I am currently at move and supply around. Okay, cool. At Souk Aras. Oh, I see.
Well, at least the resolution looks okay. I'm just looking at it on YouTube, and it doesn't look too bad. I think it you should be okay. I got yep. great upstream bandwidth. Yeah, you kind of zoomed in pretty good. So it's cool. These two Spitfires actually are spent. A buddy of mine uh, made some brisket uh, yesterday mm. and called me last night at like 10, at 10 30 and and said, Oh, I've got all this extra brisket. Do you want some? And I was like, Yeah, I'd love some. And he goes, Well, I'll come over. I'll bring it over now. And I went, Dude. You're 30 minutes away. It's 10.30 at night. I, I really appreciate it. I know you're excited, but he goes, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. And he goes, I'm so off with, you know, just sleeping in later, oh, yeah. you know, not, not having to work as hard necessarily. He's, his business is in, in the essential category, so he's still working. But he said it's not. he's not going to a physical office and he's not allowed to travel, obviously. So, mm -hmm. so he was – encouraging me to come over and get it. I was like, uh, bro, I'm, I'm going to bed. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm off. I'm way yeah. off personally. So yeah. I can completely sympathize with that. Yeah. Now uh, let's assume that he had to pick that up. So that's six. But I ate it tonight. It was good. And I went over and got it this afternoon. It was good stuff. I'm eating like a god at the moment. So that's great. Well, you're in Texas, so you've got all kinds of great barbecue down there. It's ridiculously good. I, re I mean, I, I had never had barbecue until I'd come to Texas. I think maybe once I had barbecue ribs in a restaurant uh, somewhere, like in New York, or when I was living in New York. Mm hmm. And I got down here, and of course, everyone took me out to different places, and it was one barbecue joint after the other, and they all just got progressively better. And now, funnily enough, I haven't done, you know, haven't dove into making it myself because it's it really does take a lot of effort, but, mm -hmm. but it is amazingly good food, and I would I would eat it every day if it wouldn't give you a heart attack. <laughs> It gets actually not too difficult to get decent barbecue here in Ohio nowadays. I'm not going to say it's as good as the quality or selection you have in Texas, but yeah. I mean you can you can find decent barbecue. Sure, well, I've actually had really good barbecue in New York City too, actually. Yeah, yeah, I've had decent barbecue in New York. Yeah. See, oh Christ, these stupid charcoal trucks.
All right, so half, one, two, three. I'll put that back for now. I'm going to have to make some magic happen here. Which magic where? <laughs> I'll have no magic being made on the board, please. Feeling first armored. Roger that. Oh, oh, I didn't do the attack. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> After all that trouble I went to. Which attack? <laughs> this one just with the stupid little uh, super, super, super guy guys or whatever they are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I forgot I didn't do the attack there. That's funny. Yeah, carry on. It's all good. I'm, it's just totally, so not a big deal. And, and in the end, it is not what I should have been doing anyway. I should have been saving that port. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that's a brassy move. How'd you get your ass down there so fast? Look at you. They were one hex uh, southeast of Karawan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, yeah. It's all, well, most of it was road. That's not all their movement. That's only half their movement, too. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out what the, what the rest of what I'm doing is going to do.
right, so now. Six, seven, eight. That's funny. That made life a little complicated for you, didn't it? Oh, yeah. That's 25. That's 31, 233. Drop stuff off. That brings him up to 438, 9, I think he's going to have to stay where he's at, actually. The truck? Yep. Which means I might as well keep that on the truck. Actually, not necessarily. He has 30... He doesn't actually have to spend the points to drop it off, drop it because they're going to eat it right now, yeah, or he's... or or burn it, I should say. So yeah, burn, goes burn, away. Burn the four, right? What's that? You just burn the four one hex out. Or, uh... That's true. I can do it from there, um, and then keep moving. What's the um, move and move and eat or move and supply thing? How does that work again? I, that's one that I'm not really familiar with. Let me check that. You just eat it off the eat it. Might, just you just burn it right off the truck. Even at, just as it's drive as drive by feeding type of thing. Yeah, pretty much. But the truck's got to stop its movement there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Is there some? There's something with uh, when you. I mean, the truck's got to be there to 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 pull the supply off the truck, right? Yeah, but what? Why don't you? Uh, let's see. You can move it. I actually might be put overthinking there. this considerably. You can put it there. Just I don't know where you want the truck to be, but you I, can they it. can't. They can't burn it from there. It has sure, to be yeah. adjacent. No, it doesn't. Oh no, you're right. They can burn it within five. That's five, 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 five. They can stay right up here, right with first armored. Yeah, adjacent adjacent is good enough. So it goes one, boom, and then right to there. You go around you count around. Yeah. So for the one right. for, for people watching, so he, he counts one to there, two to there, and then <clears throat> oh actually. So it's one. Well, how are you doing that? No, I'd be pulling it off. Uh, uh, I got to run it down to him. Yeah, you're gonna have to get. You're gonna have to get it to here. I think. All right, let's try something else. <laughs> That's cool. I have got three <clears throat> C47s. So we are going to run, we're going to fly supply into these guys. Right. Nice. This has to be dropped, though. So Oh, dropped. Okay, so yeah. I get to reset that. I'm not 100% sure you get a flack on that. Give me a second. Neither you do I. Think you would. But I'm, I'm trying to pull something out of my ass here, so let me have a look. <laughs> Air drops. 14.10, airdrops, blah. The rules in section 14.9 apply to airdrops. Whatever that is. Type of types. Oh, so 
airdrops require a so only if it's in an enemy patrol zone which you are i am that's okay that's okay <laughs> All right, so we got the truck run down to for where first armored is at, and I'm satisfied with that. Okay. Um, all right, so let's fly some fighter sweeps. Um, you got one in 4334. I'm going to fly this, whatever it is, against it. Spitfires, yeah. American Spitfires. Let's go. So baby. I'm going to roll, and I'm at a minus one. That's a seven. I am down with a loss. Yeah, take that, you American pig dog. Sorry, people. However, I do have a lot more air where that came from. No, oh, yeah, I know. I'm going to get unlucky at some point. All right, this one's a straight up roll. The British are coming down. We're sending in the talented pilots. <laughs> okay, here we go. That is a nine. You are down, no loss. All right. We'll take cover in our airstrip. That fixes that. Let me just make sure there's no one else that can. Uh... There is. I might have to count the hexes on this, actually. Actually, wait a minute. All right, that's it. 40, uh, we'll call it one. Oh, uh, yeah, it's fine. All right, this is the I think actually that was it. That, that was because look if I move that guy now, now pop up the zones. Yeah, that was it. You're good. You're okay. Good. Okay, good. All right, so we're gonna we, we still have to roll to drop it though. So, all right, air transport success. This is a friendly, uh, pretty sure it's clear. It's a friendly clear hex, uh, which means that we need a five or more. So we're gonna drop one, which succeeds. We're gonna drop two, which succeeds. That's one plane, mm -hmm. barely on that one. Drop three, that succeeds. Drop four, that succeeds. Four is what I need. So right. I'm going to spend the planes. Yep. And that's just flying in from Algiers. So I don't need the supply. It just magically appears on the ground. Yeah, no, no worries. Right, now we're good. And in fact, this guy's got to be in move mode. We're going to go one. Oh, wait a minute. Well, poo. All right. I guess this guy gets to be a roadblock. He's truck movement. So he's going to go one, two, three to here. The rest of these guys, on the other hand, are going to go one, two, three. Now let's finish what we had going on up here. Two. Three. 
three, one, two. This airstrip will change sides. Which means I should probably think about sending a fighter to it. Four and a half, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's twenty five. Twenty six. Thirty one. Six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one. All right, so that guy's done. These guys are moved. So I, I'm assuming, making some assumption here, that this guy 
is independent, actually. Okay. Never mind. Which what? Uh, this guy right here. He's a, this bike guy in 4508. He's independent. He's not part of a formation. This guy's part of a formation. So we got these infantry um, divisions with uh, artillery. It's an organic artillery. Um, I'm assuming that those aren't fueled from an HQ. That you'd have to actually fuel them independently. I believe that's a correct. Let me uh, look for you and see if I can see anything up here. You know your special reserve units have to stay in Algeria, right? I don't even know where the border is, but Ew. guess this guy's not moving up then, huh? Oh yeah, and your uh, your two six two sixes. Which ones? The two six two sixes, not to be a party pooper for these guys. Where are you at? Uh Casserine. Those boys. Oh. Well, they shouldn't have, shouldn't have left last turn then. Naughty, naughty guys with disobeying orders. All right. Well, we'll put them up here. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, and that, that guy needs to go back into uh, wherever. Back into Algeria, too. I was just looking while I was trying to find that thing for you. I've got those units with the little dots across the top. All right, what's our rail cap? No idea. It is. Rail cap is three. Which is good, because I have three to move. Uh, they will actually move at half, so I'll spend a point and a half. 
on a rail cap. No, they will not spend a point and a half. It will be three. Guys coming in from various places. It's all good. <clears throat> all right. All right. You want to see some chicken shit stuff? <laughs> Here it is. What's All that? Right. I got to spend a token to do this. What are you doing? I'm fueling in 4710. You have an infantry regiment from the big red one. <clears throat> He's going in move mode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Well, that, that is rude. I will cap roll to capture the truck. Um, uh, does it does that truck have SP on it? Nope. Looks like no. Um, so we're going to roll a D6 on that. Uh, he has a three, which is 25%, which is nothing. So the truck just goes to your dead pile. Good. However, you got a problem now. You, yep. and so does he. To be fair, because he's by himself. Yep. Um, but that cuts off twenty-first pan or was it fifteenth Panzer, nineteenth? Which Panzer oh, is that? Both, yeah. Yep. So that cuts them out of supply as well. <clears throat> um. So you got what you got. Um. We'll throw this back in the dead pile. Now he's in move mode and he's going to have to roll for attrition in a minute here. Um, unless I fly supply to him, which I am going to try to do. Right. Try and drop. Uh, yeah. So back to air. Um, this is a friendly closed hex, which means it's a five or more. Uh, six or more to succeed. So, and we're, we said you got no air zone there. We have no air zone in that air patrol zone in that hex. It's one hex away. Yep. All right. So, um, let's roll 2d6. That is a four. That will fail. Let's second run with the same plane. That is a three. That will fail. Do I have another plane that can do this? <laughs> Uh, not right here. Let's see if I got something else. I can just see these guys from the big, big red one going, you want me to go where? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
that means I got to remember. Let's see what I can do here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, they can do that. There. Charcoal truck's doing something. That's nice. There you go. All right, so he's actually only hauling one T. Right, so he'll lead, those guys will eat off the mat. Yep, exactly. Right. Ah, oh, you know, we forgot something. What's that? We got to check on Monty. Oh, yes. So let's do that. <clears throat> That's not a huge problem if we didn't remember it till now. And if we forget and he would have come in, then it would be a huge problem. We roll one die. Five. Monty comes in. Eighth Army is released. So... Lucky for me. That's awesome. <laughs> well, so they come in um, down here south of the Mar and sure. point E. So that's really not complicating the situation, particularly for you at the moment. So you should move those guys. Yeah, I gotta find. I gotta find him. All right, so the only thing that comes in right this second is 8th Army. All right, and they uh, three supply come in with them too, which is good because otherwise they wouldn't be doing anything. So this turn, British 7th Armored comes in. So let's see what we are going to do with British 7th Armored. Not a ton, actually. I mean, I'll fuel them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they'll move up one, two, three. They'll move, only move to there. Feels like a waste to fuel them for that, but. Uh, well, last thing you want to do is get yourself in a pickle, right? Well, that's exactly right. Uh, what I want to do is put myself in a position where I can overrun those units in Medanine. Right. Um, and from this hex starting in combat mode, I can do it. Right. But not from the entry X, but that's fine. Um, New Zealanders come in uh, next turn. 
they're very nice. And then British 51st Division comes in, and they're not bad. And then a whole bunch of extra stuff comes in. An HQ doesn't come in until like the third turn after release. So uh, it's a lot of stuff, but it's not really complicating things for you at the moment. That's but we got to. That's what Allied General always says. You'll be fine. Trust me. It's very Monty. Monty is going to be Monty down here and be very conservative. As it is, you got this line of hogs. This is going to be a big mess. <clears throat> so, but there's a lot of juice coming. Uh, the smart thing to do, I think, for the British is to move forward a little bit, and that's it for the first turn. I'm going to actually spread this out just a little bit. In case I do a uh, barrage run. <laughs> Uh, they only, they actually, that actually doesn't matter um, because they count as one formation. Mm, they, no. count as three, they count as three REs. Oh, really? Yeah. A formation, a full formation counts as three re no matter what? Yep. No, I didn't know that. That's cool. Yep. All right. So they're spread out a little bit. So. That just makes it harder for you to try and pull some kind of dickery down here. Yeah, not gonna happen. I'm too busy. I'm too busy uh, recovering from my own dickery up north. We may have. We may have. Well, yeah, I haven't even touched any of that stuff yet. Um, all right, so let's look at the fine British fellas up here. These guys actually should be relatively quick. Because I've overextended, frankly, overextended myself here. Well, let's actually count it. Shit. All right, that's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. And we're pretty much good there.
Oh, we got vessel hiccuping on me over here. There we go. want to say let me check the backfield here the british might be done almost Oh, you know what? You got another. You got another guy that needs to move too, dude. Unfortunately, where's that? Uh, Gafsa, uh, that uh, triple. Uh, this guy, that seventieth uh, light tank dude, is also a uh, reserve or something. All right, give me just a second on that. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, finish up, and we'll we'll get to it. I'm just scrolling down, looking, getting ready to look at the supply. I thought I caught all this, guys, but possibly not. Uh, yeah, so, well, I, I'll be happy to move him out of that. Bag. I bet you will be. <laughs> and just to be fair, let's do that, right? All right, that's fine. So we'll put him back up here. This is now overstacked, right? No, it's not. But he's, okay. but I think your ranger stays, right? Well, yeah, but I'm not going to move the ranger down there by himself either. So if the whole stack should have stayed, should have stayed in Algeria, then the whole stack should have stayed in Algeria. Are we okay with that? Yeah, that's cool. Because if we're not, <laughs> I'll keep the light unit there too. Yeah, well, they got lost. Yeah, uh, just, uh, just you know, my, if they weren't down there, I wouldn't have gone through all these machinations down here in the south. But it's no, all good. that's true. Yeah, so it's all good. Let's just carry on. All right. Um, uh, Basically, I just got to check uh, check to see if there's any more British stuff I have to do. I don't think so. Uh, the British are actually pulling back. Uh, is there one more thing I want to do? I think there might be. Oh, just rotated the whole stack. Oh, I had British Sixth Armored fueled from last turn. I just paid no to fuel them. No problem. All right. Um, we're going to, they haven't moved yet, so we're going to try something here. Um, I'm going to pull out this hurricane. And we're going to do a hip shoot or try to do a hip shoot. This is on hex. Where the hell were they? This is on hex 4517. So you are going to get a flak roll on that. Okay. Nine, nothing. Okay, good. That's the actually the plane you shot up last time. So twelve point barrage in close. I don't know what your density is, but it's probably nothing. You tell me if it's not nothing. Um, twelve down one. Nine. Uh, twelve down one is going to be a DG. 
Even down to it would be a DG. This is 4617. Send him back to home base. And we're going to try an overrun with 6th Armored, or at least with part of 6th Armored. Okay, no, we don't get the armor bonus in here. Uh, we'll do three point uh, three units out of it, so we'll need to spend three T for this. Uh, let me find that. Okay, we count that as uh, mountain or rough. We are counting that. Oh, let's look at that, actually. That might be bullshit. Because um, it's got the... Uh, it's good. Well, so that's just one of those weird hexes where it has... It's rough. Part of the mountain and not. Oh, no, that's mountain. Well, you, you pick the terrain as long as it's in the hex. So it's mountain. So let's see what that turns into. That's... Uh, that's one third for armor and one half for mech. Let me reconsider the attack then. Yeah, you, know, you can't overrun though, right? Uh, because, because it's more than three. Yeah, points. I cannot overrun. You are absolutely right. All right, so we're not overrunning. Yeah. Yay. Guess I'll take my three T back. It's going to be like that. <laughs> And I don't think I have another. No, that's not true. Hold on. I'm going to try and hip shoot a different unit. Oh, this is me just doing it wrong, really. All right. This is hex 4519, I think. Yeah, 4519, just north of 6th Armored. Yeah. With eight points. Go yeah. ahead and. Give me a flak roll in that. Flack. Nothing. No flak. We have a nine. It's going to be an eight. Uh, it's probably not down for density, and I think that's close. It's not, yeah, it's close, so it's down one. So, Is it down for density? Because this will make the difference. No. Uh, well, actually, let me just check. One to three REs is nothing. Then nothing. Okay, then it, he is DG'd. Okay. All right. Him, I think we're going to overrun. Okay. And that's going to be close. Uh, but that's just hills. That shouldn't provide any combat modifiers. It does not. Um, so, but we're going to do one, two, three. Oh, we'll just make it a nice round four. All right. So I am got... Um, Mouse server keeps going away for some reason. Um, I've got 23 coming in, 23 with a 4 AR. All right. So that is, I have, uh, I just lost my little app. Never mind. Uh, I have two, four, five with a 3 AR. That's halved? Yep. So you have 11 with a 3 AR? 
No, I have a, I have a net of two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. You're counting five. and not listing the units. Gotcha. Okay. So five of the three, that's going to be a four to one in close. Yeah. Um, up one on the AR. So let's roll it and see what happens. Uh, that's an eight. Missed uh, the overrun by, missed the surprise by one. Yeah. Four to one in close. So let's roll for combat. We have a nine, it goes to a 10, which is an A01, which I will take. DL101. And I'm trying to see where uh, we'll get rid of this guy. It's got to be this guy because he's the guy with he's a guy with a four. Yeah. All right, and then you've got an option that you have to take as well with a one hex retreat. Yeah. Which you can do. It's that's not a problem. Yeah. All right, that could have gone worse. Okay. What is? cost of the river it's probably for track now let's do them one at a time right. this goes there this guy goes here this guy can definitely make that we put the combat unit on top All right, um, that's it for my movement. You have a reaction. Let's have a look here. Well, uh, oh wait, well one other thing that I go ahead and figure out your reaction, but I got to eat this supply. We, we got to do supply first, right? Uh, it's my supply, not yours. Yeah. So I, I have just eaten that one unit that is in trouble. And how do you uh, – so what's the trace for you? Is it by rail as well, the rail line? Which unit are we talking about? Just any, like uh, any of the yeah. guys, any of the guys in Suse, any of those guys. Where do they right, – Those are they? guys are tracing. You see the HQ that's fueled out in the desert behind that ridge? Yep. They're tracing from him. Fueled on the ridge. I'm sorry. This is in 4109. All right. And he just reaches back, right? He re he's a f yeah, he, he can reach that far. It's all roads, so that's why. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Good. I was just making sure. And then uh, we don't have to worry about those guys down there. Well, what about your, uh, what about this guy in Kasserine? Uh, He probably needs to roll for attrition, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yeah, we'll roll for attrition for him. We'll see what happens here. Two. He's okay. No good. So he's good. All but right. he, he gets marked out of supply, though. So. Yeah. Hmm. All right, then. He's, he's just hosed. Their, their bravery is appreciated. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I guess I could have just moved him back. But, oh well. Uh, let's see. Where were we? Yeah. All the guys, the, those Algerian reserve guys, I just moved him back to the nearest border hex. I will rearrange them and do something intelligent. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Um. 
Let's see. think I can do any reserve actions that make any difference, but what about air? Do I want to try? Oh, Stigler popped in. I missed him. Damn it. All right, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to bring... Bring these guys into this hex here to do a barrage on you. All right, where is that? Uh, up north, just in case you decide to attack here. I don't know what you've got in that hex, but uh, oops, I don't know what's going on. I've got too much stuff, <laughs> it's too many stukas. Yeah, hang on. that's what I say entirely. Um, Oh, I say, there's entirely too many stukas in the air. Too right? many stukas, my dear boy. So my just, British accent is highly questionable. Uh, so I'm... Uh, oh, f uh, hang on. Wait, sorry. Those guys cannot fly because they have X's on them. I can not use them. Well, poop. Here we go. These guys will go, and I think you have you have the ability to intercept. So I'm bringing it yeah. uh, up at uh, up north. Uh, Forty twenty six. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can intercept with a Spitfire. Cool. Bring it on. All right, fly the air combat. Um, yeah, this is one of those weird little things. I think you are the attacker, so you roll, okay, and it's even up. Boom, 12. Boom. Okay, down, uh, with down, no loss, though. Yep, so flak goes in. Oh, flak first, no flak. I don't think there's anything in there that would give me flak. Yeah, that's a DJ. Uh, indeed, there is not. All right, so that's unfortunate. Okay. And I don't think there's anything else I can reach to do any damage with, although I do really want to fuck those guys up. Those guys are pissing me. It's going to come off the end of your turn anyway, though, right? My DGs come off at the end of my turn. So really, you're only DGing here if you think that there's yeah, yeah, stacks, yeah, yeah. That I'm, stacks I'm going to do something with. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's the bygones. Go ahead, combat. All right. So uh, I did actually spend that for the overrun. All right. So um, we have... Seventh armor is going to attack that uh, disorganized stack in 44, 45, 20. Seventh armored and assorted stuff. Uh -huh. um, so we're going to be coming in with 6th armored, but 7th armored. Where are you? Oh, you're, you're attacking with your DG stack? No. This is 45, 20, 45, 20. That's oh, you, DG, okay. not me. Oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so I got a whole uh, 3 with a with a 2. Net. All right. Uh, what did I say I had? 23, I think. 5, 25, I thought. 
25. Yeah, 25 to, what did you say? Three. It's max odds. Oh, hold on a second. Some of that stuff's halved. Um, for the river. So it's your stuff that's halved is four, four, and three. So that's eight, 11, and five is 16. Yeah, that's right. So 16 to three. Still good. Seven that's five to, five to one in close. Five to one. Okay. And what's your AR? Uh, Three, two. two. Okay, so I'm up two. Yep. No surprise. I have a nine on the combat. Uh, five to one goes to four to one. Um, nine is an AO1 DL101. I will take the option. Okay, that's it for that one. I did spend the supply. You gotta actually put it back where. Okay, why is that stuck? Put it back where it goes. The British are done. Clearly not doing anything down there. The only other place I'm thinking about it is is this. Uh, it's stupid for me not to do that. Actually, um, what do I got? Not that much. Yeah, I can do it. All right. Uh, Parts of first armored are going to attack that stack in 3536. Uh -huh. I should have barraged it first, but technically I should be barraging at the beginning of the phase. We usually play it that we just kind of do it combat by combat, but I don't want to overstep that. Um, so we're going to need to burn three tokens for this. I'm going to have 18 coming in. Uh, I have 18, so it's not 18. Oh, you're using the armor of the other, both stacks? Or? No, just the one. So you have... Oh, okay. So it's actually... Is that five, a... Five, five... Ooh, okay. Seven. So you it's time eight. and a half. You have eight coming so in. Okay, so I have 18 uh, uh, factors on the counters. It's time and a half, which will go to 27. Oh, you're using the other stack. Okay. Yeah, I'm using the stack. In, sorry about that. I'm using the stack underneath, one hex south of the stack that says. Yeah, says okay. I thought you were talking about the other the, the stack. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, okay, I was like, wow. I, uh, you, wow, that's cool math. Um, <laughs> it's the new math. I, I, I love that. You know. The new math shit it's, is good, right? It's fantastic. Okay, yeah, 27 to 4, right? Okay, and you're up 2. 27 to 4 is 7 to 1 in the open. 
Let's see what happens. You're up. Uh, I'm down two on this roll. So that's an eight goes down to six. No surprise. Thank God. Um, for the combat roll, I got a 10, which will go down to an eight. Uh, the seven to one is an AO1E4, which I think won't do anything. Um, I will take the option. You're a deal 102. So you're if you've only got that one, then he's just dead. Yeah. All right. So one of these guys will have to take the option, which means he's dead, but he will move into this hex, which has some supply in it. Let's see what happens on that. D6. D6, not 2D6, 4. Uh, it's a dump on the ground. That will give me 50%. You have 5T, so that will round up to 3T. Okay, and I should have barraged it first, but... Mm -hmm. All, all things being equal, I'll take that result. This, this really kind of fucks 21st Panzer right in the rear. Yep. And uh, the other Panzer division is that 18th Panzer? 10th Panzer. 10th Panzer. 10th Panzer can get out of its situation, pro probably, assuming you can run supply up to it. Um, 21st Panzer is kind of hosed. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's it. Those are, that's all my attacks. Cool. All right. So clean up. Um, I have a, do I have a DG up here somewhere? Yeah, you do somewhere up there. Is there a button that will clean up all the, uh, yeah, I don't think so. BCS. Uh, oh, yeah, there is actually. If you click on uh, reset counters, um, move allied DG, remove allied field. There you go, reset. All right. I'll be mad if I just caused the module to crash. Um, <laughs> it, it itched there for a second. But hey, it's Java. You know, we're lucky when it works. Um, so that was a much more successful turn than the first turn. Yeah, you got, you did good that time. Here's the other thing. If, um, I had won the initiative, I would have given it to you. Right. Because you're not really a position to exploit a double turn right now. Correct. So, so I actually was relieved when I didn't, I mean, I could have, unfucked a little bit of stuff sooner uh and i did have to scramble to get supply thank god there's there's a lot of allied trucks because a, a lot of the supply situation got resolved by driving a truck up unloading mm -hmm. it with stuff yes. and handing it to the troops so i could have used the supply out of here actually Oh, that's okay. I have three shiny new t new tokens here, so yeah, that'll help you this turn. And then uh, yeah, I, I was uh, you got that HQ moved up, so so the U.S. forces can use the French HQ, yeah. Yes, they can, but they can't use the British HQs. Uh, okay, that was and the French mistake. can't use the British HQs. That was my mistake. I was thinking that you would be all of your uh, Americans would have had to. Role for attrition because you couldn't reach back to a, a rail line. Well, another thing is that the the U.S. HQ is the Second Army HQ. It's got a throw range of fourteen, which is a lot. Right, that is big, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. So, uh, but you know, the farther you're you're extended out of that. Um, I overextended the first turn, actually, uh, due to not paying close enough attention, and then I had to go and scramble this turn to make sure that everybody, or at least close to everybody, was in supply. Um, nevertheless, and I had to back up a little bit here in the north because this terrain is trash, um, and there's very little point in fighting over this 
these roughened mountain hexes. Yeah, yeah, as as demonstrated ably by myself. Yeah. Now, the other problem you're going to have is um, the situation down so anywhere south of Seuss right now. Um, I, I want to review the supply rules on that to make sure that because uh, you might be cut off down here in the south. Oh, no, I think I am. And I, it's probably, you know, I would probably think that given given that uh, I'll have to have a look and see how much we can ship in. But um uh, that might be like a game breaker just because I have got nothing that can relieve or recapture that those three, it's three hexes I'd have to clear. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's quite a bit. That's why that's that whole French formation is up there pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Um, so, so, so that's why I'm curious, right? So with the, in, in the scenario, it says, Oh, you know, well, if you're going to play the campaign, don't let the Germans go first because it fucks it all up and makes it weird. And I'm like, well, hang on a second. That it also does that here. <laughs> yeah. Because what you, I know, I probably could have pulled back and protected Suse a little better had I paid more attention to the supply rules. But I feel like this, this is sort of the, you know, uh, reverse version of the Kasserine Pass assault by the Germans. So I'm just, it's just- Oh, you hit me really hard in Kasserine Pass. Yeah, but you know, I didn't, uh, you know, I shouldn't have bothered about trying to cut off some dinky little French unit. I should have reinforced this here as well. I should have been here reinforcing all this stuff. That's what I should have done. Down in the down at that other pass where, where you attacked me just then. Mm -hmm. That's where I should have uh, put all my tokens, so to speak. But anyway. Now, what is your C cap right now? Mm, uh, your C cap is four. So that's four SPs you can ship in. Um, and then you have a rail cap of zero, which is yeah. unhelpful. Yeah, and I've got one truck down there. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of like... Uh, with that little, um, with the forty-five thirty-four trick of taking the the road there, you know that's almost like uh, game over for Dak and those two formations because they, they, I can fly in six, I can fly in probably twelve T, mm -hmm. uh, but I have to drop it right. It's going to have to be dropped. Yes. I can put it in an airstrip, but I, then I've got to fight my way through a whole bunch of units to. Right. This is yeah. Yeah, funny. I think you can probably extract tenth Panzer from that situation. Twenty um, first Panzer, on the other hand, is kind of hosed. Yeah. Um, there's really no path to get stuff to them, and you can fly it in. And I don't know what they have with them. They they presumably have an organic truck with them, which has yeah, a, sure, which yeah. has an SP, yeah. which you could burn to fuel the formation and get them the hell out of there. Right. Uh, but that, remember that the. Some of that stuff, the truck specifically, is probably well. The truck is truck movement. There might be other stuff in there with truck. Right, but nothing, nothing is in trace, right? So it doesn't right. really, right? So yeah, yeah, they're out of trace. Uh, well, so tenth Panzer is out of trace as well. Yeah, but that's you don't check that till after your movement. And like I said, I think you can probably extract them. Um, but twenty first Panzers, uh, interesting. Well, I could go south. I could go to the. Uh, there is a combat unit in that hex in combat mode. Right. Okay. So you cannot run a truck past him. Right. I could without going through the mountains, which I'm pretty sure you can't do at all. I could overrun it. But, uh, hmm. Potentially. Yeah. Run 15th Panzer up there. Yeah. Yeah, and I probably, I mean, you know, what I probably would, I think, would be fair is rather than me having spent all that SP doing all this rigmarole here, I probably. I am pretty okay with giving you a couple SP, uh, an SP or two, whatever you spent back down in the fifteenth Panzer area. Yeah, because we kind of did a whole bunch of uh, buggery jiggery to uh, play with those units and gaps up the what. Yeah, and that's that's my fault for not paying attention to that. That's yeah, okay. 
Um, yeah, so we'll work that out. But uh, so I think they could come up north and maybe it's even so they're all going to have to everybody is rolling for attrition this turn south of that, that yeah turn. so you would basically be dependent on an overrun now i'll t i'll tell you that unit in the left is not a particularly tough yeah. um, that's an overrunnable unit with, with the formation like 15th panzer and if you overrun it you can get some more guys up there probably establish trace to that sure uh, well, uh, but uh, but look no that's that's yeah, so everything including the guys facing off the british all of those every one of those hexes has to roll for attrition unless i feed off the map unless you eat off the map yeah which Did you have supply down there oh yeah some yeah i mean i can i can probably make it i can ship i can still ship right so that's fine but yeah but you can yeah. ship into gabay which is which is a, an sp um and you can you can draw directly from there yeah i can probably uh, do I'll, I'll do the math on it and i what i'm okay saying, what i'm saying is that i'll have a look at all this but if if it's like if i've got to make 15 attrition rolls, then we probably, you know, I either need to do a breakout or we do a, I'm happy to do a quick reset and just go huge win for you. Let's, uh, let's, I uh, thought you, you're, you're I, I did not feel your play was particularly weak at all. Um, just for the record. Um, I, I was, I was like, you know, shit, he's serious. I'm going to have to actually play here. <laughs> and I don't consider myself all that skilled of an OCS player, to be honest. I mean, but you know, look at who I'm playing every week too. Um, so I'm pretty good with the rules, but yeah, um, yeah, yeah. As far yeah. as like the the, I, I'm literally playing with guys who play test all the games. So, sure, sure. And that's that's a thing. So yeah, um, you can ship in what looks to me like th about three supply points to coastal ports, um, and uh, because it's truck movement and it is what bear in mind it's one third on that primary road. Yes. So you probably can trace back quite a ways. I don't know about that far, but. And I'm looking at this. I'm looking at the ship at the at the supply. It's Suse, uh, Tunis, and um, Bazerte. So, I mean, you either have to, as the, so it's curious, right? So it, it seems like Rommel decided to do this attack into and uh, around Kasserine, and then the the Italians must have held this pass up near Pichon and uh, on Duke up north here. Mm -hmm. They must have held that pass more effectively, or did something different. Um, yeah. So I'm just uh, well. I'll tell you what. Let's uh, if, if uh, go ahead, go ahead and go ahead and. Let me save it before I forget to save it. Yeah. Um, Let me do the math on the attrition. And yeah. Then we'll work out how much you can ship in. Can we get it there? And all that sort of good fun stuff. And if it, if it looks like it's a cluster, then let's, I'd be curious to, uh, now that we, I, I fully appreciate the uh, supply rules and didn't, and my big mistake was I thought I was uh, tracing on road versus rail and, uh, whatnot so that's my that's my bad totally on that as my as my problem but uh yeah and i need to also even make sure that the germans can the germans feed or can like receive throw from uh from italians i need to make sure that's also i am uh quite certain that that is fine okay all right because that's not allowed. I don't believe that's allowed in DAC two either. So. Oh, hold on. Let me check. I'm looking at that right now. Actually, oh, you're right. That totally varies by game. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, it's totally fine. HQ okay. can supply and rebuild units without regard to faction, but for the allies, there are exceptions. Okay. So American okay. and French rebuild uh, HQs cannot supply Commonwealth, and Commonwealth can't supply French and Americans. So that's what I thought. So, oh. so yeah, you are fine with that. I mean, that makes sense, right? They're living yes. off the Italians down here. Yeah, yeah. that's just that their foods, foods better. So, <laughs> exactly, exactly. 
All right, cool. All right, all right let's, awesome. let's uh, try and do something next week. Yes, absolutely. I am. Uh, it so happens that my social calendar is wide open. Yeah, exactly. We're in a COVID, uh, a relationship and uh, social engagement free zone. Oh, yeah, completely. Okay. So awesome. All right, cool. Uh, thanks. I had a great time. We'll uh, we'll see you next week and we'll touch base during the week with whether we're going to reset or switch sides. All right. That's have a good one. Ciao.